the AK-47 Panther Anka, the remake of the Jaguar, the skin with three derpy faces, whatever you want to call it, there is no denying that it's a really good looking skin. But there is something that not a lot of people know about the AK Panthera Anka, and that is exactly what this video is about. As you would expect, the factory new version has no scratches, it looks perfectly clean. But moving on to minimal wear, you can see a little bit of scratches on the barrel. Field tested, again, it's pretty much the same as minimal wear, just with a bit more scratches. And well-worn starts to look well-worn, so the name is very fitting. And with Battle Scart, again, it's just starting to get a lot more worn, so there is a lot of paint chips that have fallen off and the wood is getting darker but this is just an average battle scarred. Let's take a look at a higher float battle scarred. As we move up with the float, if you look at the mag, you'll start to notice something. There is a pattern and of course, as expected, this pattern is more pronounced as the float gets higher. This concept of showing a pattern as the skin is more battle scarred is nothing new. It's very similar to the P90 and the Glock Offworld. And it's also a known phenomenon with the Op Asimov where it's not a pattern, but the Black Asimovs are worth a lot more than just normal Asimovs because they have a black scope. So there are instances of battle scarred skins looking better and being more expensive than well-worn or field tested. To show you the pattern a little bit more, I prepared some tabs with some inspect links from a float of 0 0.6 in increments of 0 0.05. So next one would be a point around 0 0.65, then around a 0.7. So let's just scroll through these and see how the pattern evolves. So this is a 0 0.6, 0 0.65, 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 0.9, 0 0.95. So as you can see, the pattern is very nicely carved out here. It pretty much looks like someone took a knife and scraped off all the paint and left here this, this little nice pattern, which is another small Jaguar. And then the same pattern that's on the stock and the wood parts over here on the top of the magazine. So if I just scroll through very quickly, then this is how the pattern evolves. And there is one other thing to notice, and that is visible in the 0.9 and 0.95 one. So this is the 0.9, and look at this part here, it's very clean. There aren't any patches of paint in the leaves of the plant. But if I go over to the 0.95, you'll see that there are some patches of paint. So the cleanness of the pattern is not only dependent on the float, it's also dependent on the pattern index which for these skins is of course different. And that's because the pattern index is what decides where the wear is gonna show. So for pattern index number 794, this part of the magazine shows more wear and that's why the paint chips, chips faster. Uh, so with a lower float, the paint chips more than with a higher float for this 502 pattern index. So make sure if you get one of these that you get one with a good pattern index and you can basically just inspect and see if the pattern is clean. So just make sure to get a pattern index that shows a clean pattern. One other thing that I wanted to mention is the float, like the lowest float that you can get to see the pattern fully. So of course this would have to be a high float. And in my opinion, it's somewhere around 0.85 where you can kind of fully see the pattern because here's a 0.8. The pattern is still a bit all over the place. The paint is still covering up some of the pattern that's supposed to be worn down. And it's not incredibly obvious that these are supposed to be leaves. You can't see the little Jaguar down here, but again, this is not super good. But if I move over to the 0.86 one or the 0.85, you can, you can see that the pattern is more dis more defined. I would consider a high float Panthera Anka as a, as a pattern magazine from a float of about about 0.85 and of course as you get higher it just gets better so i have bought one of these panthera ankas and mine is a 0.87 float so if i just inspect it real quick this is my panthera anka you can see that there are a few patches of paint and the little jaguar also has a few patches of paint but in my opinion this was clean enough with a 0.87 float to be worth buying i also wanted to talk a little bit about the price of these high flow pantheras, I have no indication that they get any overpay. A very high float one, like a 0.99, would probably get some overpay because that is really rare. 
If you take a look at mine with the float database extension for Chrome, it is rank 100 and it's a 0.87 float. So you can see that there are very few of these AK-47 Panthera Ancas with a float of higher than 0.85. In fact, and there are in fact only about 113 Panthera Ancas in the world that qualify based on my criteria for qualification, which is to have a float higher than 0.85. So it is rare. There is only 113 in the world. It's not hard to get because there are a bunch on buff. There are some in the community market as well, but they are kind of overpriced. So it's not too hard to get, but it is rare. Unfortunately, I can't really show you a low float Panther Anka in game, but this is what my high float looks like. So the pattern is very visible on the magazine and it looks really cool with the little continuation of the pattern on the magazine that is already on the stock and on the wood part. So I think this actually might even look better than a factory new Panthera Anka. This is one of those instances where the Battle Scarred version looks better than the factory new version. This was my little showcase of the Battle Scarred Panthera Anka that I picked up a few days ago. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new about some skins. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.